Welcome. In this video we're going to see how to set up a daylighting system in 3ds Max 2010. As the example file we're going to use the campus model that is going to be used uh, for your own designs. Uh, after opening it, um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, arrange the viewports so I can see everything uh, nice on this uh, set the uh, perspective viewport uh, to shading so I get a better overview of the model. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is set up camera, go to create camera target, choose a nice location. I'm going to pick uh, the stand right here in front of the Svarte Dos, uh, looking to the main building. Now give the uh, uh, give the camera a good name. It's always it's a, it's a good habit to be developed to immediately choose a, a name for your objects. And now I'm going to switch the perspective viewport, the upper right low, lower left viewport, to this camera. And now the perspective isn't very nice, so um, I can drag my camera by either using the hand tool or going with a middle mouse button. Another uh, thing I can do is just choose the uh, one of the two camera objects so either the camera or the look at point and i can do that by um, either selecting the camera just as i did and giving it providing um, uh, a real height of one meter meter and 80 here uh, and this, the second thing i wanted to do is look up a little bit higher towards the sky i can do that by either choosing the camera viewpoint and locking that using that little lock down here which prevents me selecting deselecting the camera viewport uh, unlock this again okay next thing I'm um, uh, going to do is uh, choose a good lens for this camera. So now I got everything nice in view. And make a first uh, test render. Let's see what the render settings are. Um, I'm going to choose a slightly different format for this to have a little bit more uh, uh, panoramic uh, view for that. <laughs> and see whether my renderer has been chosen correctly. Now here I got the mental ray renderer uh, switched on but if that isn't the case uh, just choose one to your liking. Okay let's bring this down a little bit. Okay this is our first test render so things that aren't quite good yet are So here's another option how to how to really see uh, get a preview of my image resolution in uh, in the viewport. So as I choose another resolution of my to my render settings, I'm going to make it 800 by 400. Uh, this will be reflected in the viewport, showing these safe frames. These are the areas uh, that uh, my main uh, the main aspects of my building shouldn't. Uh, be lying in. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the initial setup rendering of my uh, of the campus model. Now, what I'm going to do is introduce because this model hasn't got a light source yet. I'm going to introduce a light source, and the light source will be under the create modify system menu, a daylight system. Now, I'm going to be asked whether or not I want to. Um, add an automatic exposure control um, so this will and I choose yes set down my compass and also uh, what is also automatically going to be created is a mental ray sky as the background environment okay after putting my camera uh, putting my daylight system down again that's a good idea to uh, to actually give it a name a useful name my daylight in this case and now i'm going to set up the location go to location get location choose choose europe and then pick amsterdam in our case okay 
and now I will uh, and as I change the hour of the day you see the uh, you see the icon representing uh, representing the daylighting system uh, changing its position so I'm going to make it two o'clock uh, 21st of September I got the mental ray physical sky automatically as the environment web uh, and in the exposure control category I'm going to choose the physical daylight based outdoor lighting daylight as the default okay. and I'm going to click render here we go okay now what happened is um, I'm rendering the wrong viewport I'm rendering the top viewport so I'm stopping this and choose my camera and lock this so every time I will press render uh, the perspective viewport will be rendered let's see okay much nicer I got shadows I got um, I got uh, the sky background the gradient okay this is my initial rendering within a couple of minutes so I can either choose to save this and make a first daylight uh, make a first daylight copy of this rendering I got to choose a oh no, actually I'm going to choose a JPEG okay and save this at a maximum quality okay okay the second thing I'm going to try is to set this to a night time so uh, let's say nine o'clock at night you see that the Sun is actually below the horizon and if I now render the whole image you'll see that you'll see nothing it's black there's no visible light is coming through this has to all to do has everything to do with the physics based modeling or the physics based rendering so what I have to gonna have to do is go to the exposure control and either choose nighttime make, let me make a little test render there and then adjust the exposure manually either exposure value or in the photographic uh, settings either which way how to make another test rendering of this okay so for a nighttime situation this really seems to, do, to be a little bit overexposed this is too bright so let's get these uh, get these exposure control values down a little bit make it darker and then you'll also see that not only the uh, the building the, the renderings themselves the building the uh, geometry it's themselves but also the background is getting significantly darker which uh, brings us to the end of this uh, daylighting system tutorial thank you for your attention